Hey everyone. So I know I've talked a lot about typing mine, so I decided to do a video or a quick video on what it is, how I set it up, and what I use it for. So this is typing mine. Typingmind.com is the website for typing mine. And when you first log on or or, or go to typingmind.com, you're gonna have to set some things up, right? So we come over to the settings. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to have to buy a license key, right? So I'm on the premium plan, and um, the costs right now are uh, oh, buy another. So $99 for the premium plan, uh, half price right now. Uh, $79 for the extended, and $39 for the standard. Now, if you're just using regular chat GPT and that's all you use all day long, then pay for the $39. It's just a one-time. By the way, it's the one-time fee you pay. You don't have to pay this monthly. 39, 79, or 99, depending on what level you want. I went up to 99 because I'm using the plugins and I want the free updates. And what was an extra 20 bucks since it's a one time cost? One time cost. Anyway, so you buy your licensing fee, you put your, your licensing key, you put your key in here, and now you're ready to go. But to get it to work, you have to put in API keys. And when you first log on to Type Mine and come to the API key section, these will be blank and it'll say get API key here. So if we click that, it's going to take us over to my. OpenAI, OpenAI is who runs ChatGPT uh, account, right? And you can sign up with a free account. And then I got my API keys. And now that I have my API keys, I had to put in uh, money for usage, right? So instead of getting charged $20 a month for ChatGPT and $20 a month for Claude and $20 a month for Gemini, you just get called charged for usage. So, so far this month, and I've been doing a lot yesterday and today, right? Using the models, I've spent a dollar. That's it, right? A uh, ton of the and I use the the four O and the, the premium stuff. I did some image stuff, right? So if you're just basically checking emails and um, checking grammar and asking it to write a uh, a campaign for you or to write a email for you or to write a prompt for you, or whatever, you're gonna have less usage than me. But just think about that. If I spend a dollar every day, five days a week all month long, it's only $20 in usage. And that's, you know, what you would spend just for one model. And I don't spend nearly that. I mean, this is high for me. So in, in average, I spend between 10 and $20 a week across three models. And because as you see, I have API keys for all of the, um, all the models. Uh, let me go to, back to take in mind. So I have one for Anthropic, that's Claude, and one for Google Gemini. And once you do that, you, you can add what they call plugins, right? So plugins, so you want to do web searches, you want to do perplexity searches, you want to use Dale for um, uh, image creation, stable diffusion for image creation, image search, you know, all these things. And, and in the settings sections, I actually had text-to-speech set up, which I disabled, as well as voice input, but you can put that back on. I don't use uh, the keyboard shortcuts. I don't care about the appearance. And then the general is I left everything as it was in terms of um, the defaults, right? Uh, except I used Google, I think they had another search engine in there. Um, these are all the models that you can um, use and you default, I default to chat GPT-4, right? Um, but you can default to whatever you want, right? So 4.0, move it to that. Um, mini, whatever, turbo, you can use uh, Gemini, you can use Claude, a lot of people like Sonnet, right? So I like uh, ChatGPT 4 or 4, doesn't matter to me. And then you can set, you can turn off if you don't want them to come up in Typing Mine when you're on the main page. And then you can set your temperature. Um, I kept most of the things default, right, in here. But those of you who really are into this can probably do more. And that's your, kind of your settings. You have your settings, you have your plugins. And now let's go over to the chat, right? Here's the chat. This is what comes up. And here are my agents. Think of agents like gems or GPTs, except you can use them on all the different large language models, right? So um, this one, this cold email template or AI product manager, whatever it is, you can try it on one and use it on another and see which one gives you a better um, results, right? So, and my agents are over here, right? We see all the different agents. And you can build them however you want, pin whatever ones you want here. I have some ones that I'm working on kind of trying to fix some, um, like this one here, meeting transcription testing for interviews. I have one for meeting transcription notes. Now I've changed it a little bit uh, for 
uh, interviews, not just meetings, to kind of extract specific information about the interview. Um, anyway, so that's that's kind of how that works. So you know, you start a new chat, and um, let's see, um, we will try some. Let's say a cold email template, right? Um, you can ask it to do one of these, or let's just do a normal on the word thing. You know, uh, I need an email. Oh, no, I need a social media post. I need a social media post about kittens. Oops, let me hide this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Make this bigger. About kittens. A, B, O, U, T, kittens. Surfing in Hawaii. Right? So, ChatGPT is going to make kitten surfing in Hawaii. It's going to give me a, a social media post, whatever it does. Now, I want to see what uh, one of the other ones did. So I'm going to go to Cloud Sonnet and hit regen. I don't have to change anything, right? It's going to go with the blue. I need a social media post for kittens surfing in Hawaii. I'm going to hit regenerate. And now, Claude is going to do that for me. And what's also, while this is doing it, it's really cool, and it's using Dale, so I think it's going to make a picture for us. Um, while it's doing that, if you look over here, I actually have a Chrome extension that typed me mine. This is because of Kale Campbell did this. Um, told me about it. Type me mine can now run anywhere on, the, on my sidebar. So if I want to reply to someone's email, I can drop it in here real quick and say reply to this and give it a nice tone or give it a shitty tone or whatever. Um, go back to type me mind. So our kittens. Oh, look at that. So what it did in um, Claude Sonnet is this, right? It created kind of this cool. Um, picture of these cats typing and we could change it again and come down here to uh, Gemini, right? And it regenerate. And then what's Gemini going to do, right? They did three different options for us, right? And I just, this was just, all I did was type, I need a social media post about kittens surfing in Hawaii. And I tried it against all three of them, right? Gemini, Cloud, and um, Sonic, right? And if you, we can, you know, uh, get to the the past ones, I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, we can see the ones that um, the other ones made. Uh, well, I'm not good at everything, but you get the idea. Oh, um, is this the one? Yeah. So, you know, we can, you can do so much with it and you're all in one place. You don't have to jump from large language model to large language model. Um, for those of you who have seen, I've been talking about doing the meeting transcription notes. I'll kind of do one of those real quick. So I this is the chat you beat that I built. I'm not going to show you my other one because I don't I'm not sure it's ready for prime time yet. But um for that, what I do is I take a um I gotta get to my drive folder and um drop some text in here. And when you drop the text in, it'll it'll do it, it'll take the text and then make it into a summary for you. So if you record your conversations or do a team meeting and you record the meeting, you can translate, transfer that into text using something like um, uh, 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 Otter. Or Otter. Um, there's one on AppSumo right now called uh, TaskRide Pro. It's like 40 bucks. That's the one I've been using right now. And it'll transcribe everything for you. Oops. Uh, back to here. Okay. And for whatever reason, I can't get to my drive to show you guys. Here we go. I can get to my drive. Drive. And um, copy this. So this is a guy I had interview the other day. I drop it into here. All I did, and now see, it's I posted it as plain text. And this gets to give you an idea, right? So 36,000 characters, 9,000 tokens. Uh, they charge you via tokens. Uh, a million tokens is five bucks. So this is going to cost me pennies. I hit send. Now, uh, ChatGPT4 is doing a meeting summary on this. Um, they got some of the, the, the name of the company wrong. So I'll, I can actually go in there and change it. Like say, like change, like this is very simple. Change. Um, oops. To Tom, because that's how I spell my name. Right? And boom. Um. It's gonna change Tom. Right. I can change Matt to Matthew. Uh, I can change my client's name. 
Uh, then you see key discussion points, talks about his salary, decision made, follow ups, next step. And if I don't like this one, again, what we could do uh, now, I, maybe because I had the Tom the Tom, it might not work as well, but let's just check what Claude Opus does. So regenerate using Claude Opus. And I don't know, it might just think to do that. Nope, oh, I did it. Right. So now Claude is going to do it. Now it may do it differently because, um, in fact, it is, is taking what was there and not changing it to changing Tom. So what we're going to do is do a new chat. It's just so you guys what it looks like with um, Cloud. Hey, paste those same notes in there and then use Cloud Sonnet. Uh, or we use Opus, see what Opus does, and hit send. So this is going to be different than what Chat GTV gave us, but I'm definitely going to get my names wrong. And it's, it's um, telling you what it's doing, right? So this is different than Chat GPT. This is actually telling you what it's doing. And now it's. Um, Creating the and it got my client's name right. Uh, wow, this actually is doing a much better job than what ChatGPT four had done. I haven't tried it in here, and it's giving me my action items. And I'm, I'm actually impressed that it spelled my client's name wrong. Great, made my name right. Um, so that's kind of cool. So it shows this is the compensation of the job, right? And this is what he's making. So I, the new chat GPT I'm working on, or the new GPT agent I'm working on, I'm having it remove this this stuff and only go after Matt's background. That one's gonna be called, um, as you can see from here, um, meeting transcripts and testing for interviews, right? So I'm kind of messing with this to test for interviews. So anyway, that's Typing Mind. If you have any questions, concerns, questions or anything, you know where to reach me. Other than that, um, smile and dial and, um,